Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about Save and Save As. Computers have two kinds of memory. One that just forgets everything as soon as the power is switched off, that's called volatile memory, and then permanent memory, and that's things like your hard disk, where you would have my documents and things like that, but also these days cloud storage and pen drives and all sorts of things that you can save on that will keep things permanently. But the computer, when it's working most of the time and when you're creating things on the computer, uses this volatile memory. So it's good to bear this in mind whilst you're working. Whenever you're working in a program, it starts to use this volatile memory. I'm going to open up Paint on here and you can see at the top it says Untitled and then the name of the program, Paint. And if a program opens up and says Untitled, then it's using this volatile memory and you may be worried that you would lose your work. And it's a good thing to think about it but there's a safeguard in place to stop that from happening accidentally, unless the power goes off. Watch this. If you close a program and you've done something in it, even if it's just a dot, let me just put a dot somewhere there on the screen, and then try to close the program, it will usually say, do you want to save the changes? Because something has happened since it was opened. And so you have this kind of question whether to save or not save. Now, I'm going to say cancel to that because I want to do a little bit more with this. So that safety is there. So rest assured, if you try to close something, it will ask you, do you want to save it? It won't just switch off and forget everything. Now, if you're an amazing artist like myself, then you can create stunning pictures like this. Here we are. Um, let's see, let's, uh, let's create something absolutely incredible here. Let's do another one there. And uh, here we go, a bit of a nose into here. And the mouth. And there we can go, a smiley face or a sad face or a smiley face. Let's leave it there before we go too far and some hair let's use a different color of hair and a brush to make some hair uh, let's put it on fairly oh look at this what an amazing artist i am stunning now i would be really sad if i lost this picture so i'm going to go to save this and the way i'm going to do this is going to the file menu and again another safeguard in here is that no matter whether I go for save or this other one we've talked about save as, it will always, if your picture is untitled, go to save as the first time. So I'm going to deliberately be awkward and press save and show you that it's going to open save as. So here we go. There you see at the top there, save as. I'm just going to cancel that and show you that if I go to the file menu and do click on save as, it's exactly the same place, save as. And what that does is it gives me a chance to decide where I want to save it and what name I want to give it. Now, I'm in my documents here, so that's a great place to save this. I could put it in a folder called pictures or something like that, but I'm just going to save it here for now. It's already highlighted blue, so I don't even have to delete that. I can just type into there, face. And that's what I'm going to call this masterpiece. And I just click on save. And that's it. It has saved it as face. So now I can close that. And I know that it's been saved. And I can go to my documents here. And I can find face. And I can open it with paint again. OK, I can alter this picture a little bit more and do some more things to it. So I'm going to get a brush and I'm going to get a colour uh, and hopefully we can 
Oh, look at this stunning work here. By the way, if you've got a tablet or a way of using the mouse in a little bit of a neater way, you can actually do really nice art on computers, maybe even better than mine. Um, so now I've added eyes to it. If I try to close it now, it comes up. Do you want to save the changes? Because it knows that I've added something to it. And so I can either click on save and it will just do that. It will keep the same name and it will update it. I'm going to cancel that for the moment. So that's your safety net. But what I would have done under normal circumstances would go up here and press save. And I can't show you on the screen here, but on the keyboard, I can press control S and that's another way of saving. There is no big fanfare when you save something. There's no trumpets, there's no big announcement, there's no confirmation on the screen saying, well done, you have saved it. Uh, it just does it. For a brief moment at the very bottom of the screen, you can sometimes see it uh, doing a little activity thing, but uh, for the most part, you've just got to trust that it's saved. Once you've clicked on the word save, it saves and that's it. You can close it and then if I want, I can open it up again. And because of the things on this computer, I'm just making sure that I open it with paint and not with any of the other programs that I've got available. So here it is. And now I could do something absolutely amazing, like create some ears. So here we go. Here's some ears that I can put on like that. There's one. These are great ears. And there's another. Hey. Now then. If I want to save this under a different name, say face with ears, then what I would need to do is go back to the save as instruction because I want to change something. If you don't want to change the name or the location, save is perfectly fine every time but if you want to save it somewhere else or save it with a new name then you have to go to save as and then this comes up again and then you can start to choose whether you want to save it in a different place on your computer or on a different pen drive or up in the cloud or wherever those things, if you don't understand how to do those things, don't worry about them at the moment, just save them in documents, but they're all options that are there. But if I want to change the name of it, then all I do is just come here where it says face and I can go face with ears. Now this means it will save a new version of it. So I'll have face, the one without the ears, and face with ears. Both saved. So I'm going to click on save, and there you go. It's saved. So when I close that, I've now got two here. I've got face and face with ears. So if I click on face and open that with paint, there we've got that version. And if I click on face with ears, and open that with paint then I've got the one with ears and that's all it is if you are saving something you have to give it a name and if you're saving for the very first time it won't let you click just on save you've got to actually give it a name and say where you want it to save after that you can click on just save instead of save as and it will update what you've got there but as I said before, there's no flashing lights, banners or fanfares. It's just saved and you have to trust that it's saved where you had it before. Hope that's been helpful. Speak to you soon. Bye.